Yo, what's up guys, and welcome, uh, welcome back on in. Guys, it is time for our first ever uh, Elden Ring Let's Play here on freaking YouTube channel. Uh, I'm super, super excited about doing this. I've been looking forward to doing this for a while. Uh, we reached out, you know, in the Discord community to see if anyone was really interested in it, and it seemed like a lot of you was. So here we are uh, doing that for you guys now. Super, super exciting. Obviously, this will be a separate playthrough, separate to what we're doing uh, over on Twitch. And uh, guys, if you're not already following us uh, over on Twitch, uh, the link is down below in the uh, description. If you want to go check us out over there, we're so close now to the big 900 as well. Any support, greatly appreciate it, especially if you want to see some more Elden Ring content as well. So, all right, without further ado, um, I think I'm ready. If you guys are ready, I'm ready to jump straight into the gameplay. And um, I think you're going to be excited to see... Uh, the character that we're going with as well. So with that being said, guys, let's just get straight into the gameplay, shall we? Alrighty. So as you can see, guys, um fair few characters or classes um, that we can choose from here. Now I've done some thinking. I've done some thinking. Obviously, for those who didn't know and those who do know, well, we did the um, Astrologer uh over on twitch and obviously i want to have this separate playthrough and completely different and trying out different things and unique things um here on this playthrough so i am really like intrigued and interested by like magic in these kinds of games and and and, and, and spell casting and things like that um that has like an allure for me however it was between i'll be honest it was like a toss-up between uh, whether or not we were going to do the astrologer or the confessor this was on twitch and i, I didn't realize kind of magic you know the faith magic i didn't re quite realize that um um some of the faith magic that you could get you know like the, the stuff that you can do so i think it's really really interesting i think it's going to make for an interesting playthrough when you guys see it and i think it's going to make for interesting gameplay as well so i'm going to go with the confessor on this one uh we're going to go body type a i think that's i think the type a type b thing is just I think it's just male or female, right? And I will say, from some of the stuff I've seen, um, from some of the stuff that I have seen, um, the the screams on the females is, is so bad. Um, but kind of comical with the screams in general. So it's kind of comical. Um, we're going to go with names Bez, guys. Bez. Don't worry that. Type A, we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go young. Origin, Confessor, Keepsake. Now... We found the Crimson Amber Medallion at one of the traders. It was pretty cheap. I didn't think it was... I mean, it's a good idea. Um, it might be a good option. Because it does increase your maximum HP early on. This is a difficult game. Um, but I still think the Golden Seed... Now, you can find Golden Seeds as you go. But I still think that's going to give us... I don't know. I, th I still think that's going to give us like the best... Uh, maybe the best bang for our buck like early on in the playthrough type deal so um we'll go with golden seed and base template so we've got a a few different options that we can choose from here we've got warrior truth seeker aristocrat pasty pasty boy uh the loner caveman vibes type thing going on there northerner seafarer reed lander draconian night folk the people of the night uh, in, in Newman as well. It's got to be Northerner, right? But surely I can, like, I can, yeah, detailed appearance. Age only affects appearance. It has no bearing on ability. Okay. We are uh, uh, fresh as a newborn lamb, guys, on this playthrough. We've got to give him a bit of color. I mean, not sunburnt, you know? Woo! Woo hoo hoo! I'm the sunbed too long or fucking fell asleep on the fucking by the pool. Um this was this respectable colour. Um Jaundice! <laughs> Jaundice guys! Uh cirrhosis of the liver type motherfucker. Whoa! Um you guys ever seen um Sin City? Freaking yellow bastard, or whatever his name is. I 
think that's an all right skin tone. It's not too pale. It's not too uh, weather beaten. Alter face. Uh, it's kind of got some Viking vibes going on. I quite like that. I think we'll try and keep the Viking type deal going on. Um, I quite like that. So let's see. Um, face structure. Hair. It's got to be white. The white fang of uh, the lands in between. That's a cool color. That's a cool color. But uh, yeah, it's got to be white, white all the way, right? Uh, root darkness. White hairs. White hairs. I think we got them. Got it covered. Got it covered. Uh, eyebrows. A few annual eyebrows. Yeah, we want some stern looking eyebrows. We mean business in this playthrough, in this let's play. That looks, yeah, that looks what I'm, that's more like what I'm going for, you know what I mean? You want to fuck with this man, you know what I mean? Um, beard. I like that one. We're going to go with that beard there. Very, very nice. Uh, tattoo and or eye patch. Uh, okay. That's a bit, that's a bit too Charles Manson for my liking, guys, that one there. Let's see. What else we got? Gonna have a second set of eyebrows. A second set of eyebrows, guys. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, 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 no. No, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling the, um... And, of course, we're going to be, uh, save the favorites. Add him to the, uh, to the click. Uh, we've got to be blindfolded, guys. Daredevil. Relying on our other uh, senses, you know what I mean? All right, um, character creation taken care of. Um, let's get straight into it. Are you guys hyped up? Hyped? I won't be talking over the cutscenes. Tell a story. Wow. The artwork is amazing. It's amazing. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first. Demigods all claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Oh man, Anaconda. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment. Is that Redan? By the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. Call of long 
last grace speaks to us all. Or alone, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear the deathbed companion. So those characters mentioned, I won't spoil anything, I don't want to have any spoilers, but that's interesting. Oh, that's just uh, triggered some things in my mind right there. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Okay, I'm hyped now. Even more hyped than I was. Okay, that's just got me going. I mean, the freaking music is amazing. The art is amazing. The game is amazing. And with that, guys, we are in. We've got a new gesture, the ring. Jump for joy. Probably my favorite is the jump for joy. All right, so part of the reason why I like this class is because I can mix it up a little bit. Uh, sword and shield, but also I have access to some pretty amazing faith magic as well. First item we've, equip uh, we've uh, acquired is the Tarnished Wizened Finger. Elden Lord, guys. That title's got a ring to it. Bez the Elden Lord. is blocked shut. Well, here we are, guys. First look at the outside world. Sheesh. Sheeshes. All right. I think I got my thumbnail. Have I got my thumbnail, guys? Woo! The dawning of a new Let's Play. Imagine if I fell. Okay. Okay. Short swords. Semi decent. No hidden path ahead. Boo! Why is it always bridge? My guy's pretty, pretty agile. So, I wonder, do we start with, um... Oh yeah, we can have a little look at the... We can have a little look at the map. Do we start with, um, finger seals and things? So we can start with our magic right off the bat, or do we have to acquire that? Okay, we can't... quite see anything as of yet. Uh, with the equipped men equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. You can equip up to three armaments each to your left and right hand. The actions each armament performs will vary based on which hand is wielding it, which we'll go into further as we go. It's nice to know we do have the finger seal. Inventory win uh, menu. There's a gold seed. 
And these are the spells we currently have. Urgent Heal and Assassin's Approach. Okay. So I'm assuming I become even more stealthier than I already am. Uh, and I can creep up behind enemies perhaps without crouching. Maybe I make less noise. And uh, get the old backstab in, the old assassination, Assassin's Creed type deal. I'm sort of Assassin's Creed, kind of. Sort of, ish. If it was complete opposite colour. Holy moly. Alright, I knew it was coming. Um, but damn, that was scary. Holy, holy mother of... I mean, we're not supposed to be able to beat him, but I'd like to land a hit. Dang! Flawless victory for the grafted ski on. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping I would land at least a blow. Maybe that's the downside of the... Uh, the sort of the short sword or the broadsword or whatever sword it was that we were currently working with. Um, and no, no real, um, epic faith magic yet that we can use, like lightning spears and things like that. That'll be down the line. We'll get those as soon as we can. I lasted two, I lasted all of two minutes. <laughs> So I wasn't the only one that was resurrected from the cutscene at the beginning. It makes a lot more sense now on second viewing. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here after Washed up on a river bed somewhere. Lucky that guy didn't eat me. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Do you see what I did to the Grafted ski on, see what happened there. He was lucky to escape. The wrath. I was just I was just having a just a quick nap. Now I've got healing flasks, beautiful. And our MP as well, which is going to be very, very necessary further down into the gameplay. Only we had a ladder. Okay, no villains as far as I'm aware. That's the area we've got to go down. Now, as, uh, also, I think as well, these golden trees not necessarily this one but the ones around the map those are where you can find your golden seeds to increase the amount flasks that you can that you can carry our first point of grace guys our first point of grace so this is basically like our checkpoint uh we can use these points of grace to like rest set up our spells Store items, that type of thing. I'll read you the uh, the information as well. Uh, so it says here, guys, resting at a site of grace will restore your HP, uh, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will be revived. That's the downside. 
Uh, you can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Also, a thing that it doesn't mention is also these sites of grace are how we fast travel around this incredibly huge map as well. So let's interact with it. But yeah, we, we aren't able to show you just how humongous this map is just yet. But it is pretty bloody big. Uh, this is all I have so far in terms of spells. Uh, eventually you can um, get more memory slots as well. So we can store more spells. Bosh! Sleep time! Nap time! For you, my friend. You gotta say for yourself, huh? You want some of this? Just time my parry. Let's get the timing on that. Oh. A little early. A little early, but I can. Beautiful. Bosh! Alright, we've got to get the parrying down. We really do need to get that down. Looked like we got it there, which was great. We'll keep working on it. Very, very nice. Um, it's going to be very, very helpful to some of the big bosses as well. Uh, it says it sorceries and incantations. Uh, you can memorize sorceries and incantations at Sites of Grace. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. So I'm interested to know. I'm wondering. Oh, I, I do have to have. I was wondering if I could. Um, this is my first time playing Confessor. I was wondering if I, just because I had the seal equipped, if I could still use the spells at the top. But no, you, you do need it in hand, which is totally fine. Uh, it says here, guarding. Uh, use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield, such as what we have right now. Uh, guarding, however, does consume stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. Very important. Against the bigger enemies, anyway. kind of hit me like some kind of drunk guy. You know, he's kind of flailing around and... Hit it, man! Mistimed. Mistimed. There we go. Now he's fucking teeing off. Beautiful. Dodging. You can avoid enemy attacks with a dodge roll or back step. Both of these actions consume stamina. So. Interestingly that none of the other... Uh, obviously it's the first area, so it's just getting used to the game, but... None of the other characters... That you end up going up against... Attack you in that way. Now, I don't have a bow and arrow. I guess we're just gonna run past that guy right there. When we played Astrologer, we were able to just snipe him down. Wielding armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three different armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Uh, armaments can also be two handed. That's something I didn't realize until recently as well. Uh, that you can do. So you can make it do more damage, which uh, I'll show you really quickly. So now my sword is two-handed. See my shield's on my back. Big power strike. Break his stance, beautifully done. Be wary of Archer. Beat him to the punch. Beat him to the punch. Where's this Archer? 
I've seen that. Anything we can loot. There's the archer. Urgent healers are other. Our other, um... Okay. I was just testing out to see what's quicker there. Uh, we can always get more flasks at the next point in grace. These guys aren't too crazy. Uh, armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skill consumes FP, which is our blue bar, guys. That was cool. That's super cool. A plunging type slash. That was pretty powerful in this game. As you can see, he had no idea. That's without using my um, ability as well. I wonder if I use that ability. If I can... I wonder if I can... Walk up to people, you know? Let's try it. Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy stance. Yeah, we've got to be doing some nice jump attacks. Like so. Bosh. Could have got a visceral on him there. It's a bit of a shame that we didn't. Uh, Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, we arrived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a state, uh, stake, sorry, of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. So, if we die to this upcoming boss behind this fog wall, we'll uh, end up here instead, which is kind of nice. Okay. Our first proper boss-ish, if you want to call it that. I don't know if you really want to call it that. Uh, guard counters. You can perform a counter attack into, uh, immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. So, basically, I think, like, our parry, right? Beautiful backstab. Beautiful. No damage taken. Okay. Nice, nice easy boss. Um, for early on, I don't think it's ever going to get any easier than that. Not even a little bit. So enjoy it while it lasts, guys. You know what I mean? I think that's actually the way we came. Got turned around with all the rolling. So I think it's straightforward, straight ahead. Our first area complete. And uh, looks like some goodies up here, or a goodie. For our troubles, uh, strength, emo. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. We need gesture. And here we are, back at the Stein area. So open up the door and head on out. Another point of grace. Okay, nice. Alrighty. Remember this area, guys. So another thing you can do is start with a stone sword key, but you do not want to be going into this area behind the fog wall here. You need a stone sword key to put into this gargoyle to get behind it. However, you don't want to be going into that area if you can help it. It is pretty crazy. Uh, cooperative multiplayer. Uh, use tarnished felled fingers to write a golden summon sign. 
Uh, cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, Feld Finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. So for this playthrough, I don't imagine I'll be doing much co-op, but for some of the stuff on Twitch, I probably will be. Again, link will be in the description below if you want to come check us out over there. See us in the action. Okay, take the lift upstairs. Oh, his hand is a cool like that. But yeah, very excited about this playthrough. Very excited to see... Um... Here we are, guys, into the big wide world of Elden Ring of Lingrave. First area in the map. Very excited to um, start unlocking some of the really cool magic for uh, for Confessor, for, 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 for Faith. Game of the Year contender, guys. Gotta be. Looks like we've got a point of grace over here and an NPC that we can talk to as well. Probably be a good idea to rest. Uh, guidance of Grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. The golden rays will guide you along your way. I think we can rest here. Don't want to rest too long, you know what I mean? Waste the day away. You can see that big bastard tree sentinel over there we're going to avoid him like the plague uh use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures you can update your map with new information by finding map fragments along the road you can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore and also something i want to be more wary of is is putting down markers for things because it's very easy to lose track of where a merchant is or a certain key area or Maybe even a catacombs or a ruin that you haven't quite explored yet. Maybe because you wasn't the right level. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation... To the round table hold you are fated it seems to die in obscurity luckily for you however there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless me vare take care to listen are you familiar with grace the golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. Mm. Something smug about this guy. I can't tell if he's friendly or not. The path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric. Nothing to crap it about him, mate. He is agile. He is a demon. Um, and what will be our first proper boss as well? At least, I think, first proper boss in the storyline, at least. Uh, I'll show you guys the map. So this is what we've got uncovered currently. It really doesn't do it justice now that you're looking at it like this at the beginning again. It is humongous. It, the map is huge. And uh, we're going to try and explore a little bit of it here.
feel sorry for the old goat there, but we need the dang runes. Runes, obviously, what we need to uh, level up our character. Here we go. Fast travel to Sites of Grace. Uh, so throughout your map, you can instantly uh, travel to any Sites of Grace that you've already discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. And I have noticed that in my other playthrough as well, but hopefully we shouldn't encounter that too often. There are certain areas which you can't fast travel to and fast travel out of. Let's see. We're going to use our golden seed here, guys, to get ourselves an added charge. An extra flask. Uh, we don't have any tiers yet. We could maybe allocate flasks. Uh, so you can basically choose like what, how many you want of each. But for now, because we don't have much, much magic at the minute, we can go in this way, in this direction for now. Until we get some better faith spells and things like that. Father Christmas Trader. Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments, so your weapons ring and things like that. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Okay. Good to know. Noted. Noted. You're a tarnished. I can see it. Santa. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Wonderful. What have you got, good sir? What have you got, my friend? Uh, with the shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase various items. So not only can you use your runes to obviously level up and things like that, but you can use them to um, pick up items from store from purveyors as well, NPCs and things. Crafting kit's going to be pretty much necessary. And then obviously the blueprints or the cookbooks so we can craft some... some um, important items on our travels we're going to grab the crafting kit right off the bat uh, and i'm also going to grab the torch which will be handy for us when we're doing some exploring and that type of deal nice to do business yeah a pleasure very very important when we start doing a little bit of cave exploring and, and things like that as well until we find obviously a lantern later down the line obviously the guy speaks about the smithing there a minute ago we obviously didn't give any spoilers away which is very very nice Item crafting. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items, and you can uh, so you can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks, which is what we were explaining. That's very very nice. Uh, containers. You will need cracked parts or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to hold. Sorry, you will not be able to make more of those items. Yet when you let's read that again. Dang, I can't read. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Containers items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain, which is very, very handy. So we don't have to keep collecting those. Okay, the gold, as you said, the light is leading us where we need to go towards. This right here is going to open up the map. So these little... You can almost see it. These little... Uh, what do you call them? Statues or monuments or whatever they might be. Uh, where we can find map fragments, which open up the map so that we can see it ourselves. Forgive me. Soldiers on patrol, guys. Make our presence known. Not exactly what I was going for there. I was going for a backstab. How about this guy? Can we backstab you? You there! Our first catacombs, guys. 
warrior ahead. Okay, let's mark it on the map. So, for this playthrough, I'm thinking we'll put the skulls. Um, yeah, the skulls will be our marker for... for caves unexplored, perhaps? Maybe it's better to do them... mark the ones we have explored. I don't know. But for now, get some nice easy runes. Boar! He drops a helmet. That's nice. Kind of, kind of enjoying our look at the moment, though. Like, right? Stylish. I can hear something glinting over here. Get rid of that guy. We don't want him. Uh, Stopping us from getting something cool over here. Something's making some noise. Oh, I didn't mean to kill the deer as well. My bad. <laughs> um, teardrop scarabs. Uh, there are both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows, which is totally fine. It's understandable. Hmm. So they have an encampment down there. I'm, I'm actually interested in exploring. I don't know. I don't quite remember what's down that other one. So let's do that. There is a point of grace down there as well, so maybe we can level up as well, which would be nice. And um, we might get some, you know. I don't know, some, some decent early game armor or equipment or something in there. Groveside Cave. I'm excited, guys! Our first, uh,. Our first cave to explore together. I'm excited for that. I'm not too sure what's down here either, so it could be good, could be bad. Um, let's see how it goes. Uh, do we want to pass time? I want to level up. It's interesting that I can't level up yet. So maybe we don't go down here. Ah, fuck it. We only live once, guys. Get our trusty... Trusty torch out. If the forest uh, taught me anything, these caves are sometimes quite dark. Uh, we have no ranged weaponry. Currently. Cave moss. Okay, the wolves have yeah, definitely taken over down here. There's a good three or four. Okay, two swipes. One then, big boy. We'll take him if we can take him one at a time, that'll be lovely. Okay, he goes down. Where does this lead? Boss! Interesting. Okay, so there is a boss in this cave as well. As I think is in I'm yet to like fully like explore every cave, so I can't really say one hundred percent for sure. But it seems like there are bosses in... Wow, he's taking a pounding. Holy cow! Holy cow, guys! That guy was taking some hits. How did you get there? Okay, thin beast bones. Okay, they like to come up behind here, looks like. Nice, he didn't take too much. Maybe he was the, the pack leader. He was the pack leader, guys. He was the freaking king of the wolves. Okay, nice. Beautiful. Cracked pots. So we were just learning about those. So these ones here can hold materials, things that we don't have to we don't have to collect these again. 
Interesting. I, haven't, I don't know if I've used what, what we can actually collect in them, so I'm assuming... More wolves. I'm assuming... I don't know. Throwables? Yeah, we really don't want to be going up against multiple at one time. Thankfully, the water there didn't put out... That would have been maybe too realistic if the uh, water would have put out my uh, fire there. Uh, cave moss. We'll collect as much of that as we can. We don't know when we're going to need it, you know? Uh, a glowstone as well. Interesting. Uh, silver firefly. Collect all of those. And what have you got, my friend? A golden rune. Okay, lovely. Alright, let's... Um... Inventory, right? So, the glowstone emits a faint light from the location's place. So, I guess it could light up a dark tunnel. So, if we didn't already purchase the... Uh, uh, if we hadn't already purchased the um, the torch here. More cave moss. We'll take that. What do our uh, friends have to say? They've written some messages here. Friend required ahead. Okay. Try jump attack. Try circling around and then back. Alright guys, wish me luck. Beast Man of Farum Azula. Wow, he's tough. Woo! Okay, big boy. I see ya. Okay, we land some big blows. We dodge those, we dodge those. Wow, he's feisty. Oh, goodness me. Okay, okay. We really can't take any more damage. We are out of flasks. Wow, driving. Diving attack there. Yeah, we need to re Oh, we need to dodge, get our endurance back. Slam him! Jumping attacks working kind of nice. But it does leave us with no stamina. I think we could beat him three quarters of the way down. That's our first death in the Let's Play. But um, I think we can take this guy, Beast Man of Faramazula. He is... One tricky customer. A uh, first proper boss, really. Well, side boss. Our toughest boss as of yet. Um, however, oh, did we not activate this? Okay, nice. So the summoning pool is now functional. Um, I thought we activated that. That's my bad. So maybe we can bring a friend with us. However, the bad news is, guys, we've got to go through here again, which means all the wolves will have respawned. Now, we've got two choices. We can take them out or... Make a mad dash. Coming up. <clears throat> well, it's more runes, which is nice. Are you the big boy? No, nope. the big guy is still alive. Are you him? Beautiful. All right, now as long as we don't die again, we won't lose access to those runes in here. I am looking. I have activated the summoning pool. Legs. Running attack! I didn't quite work out how I hoped it would. 
We probably should have just made a mad dash now that I think about it, because we've wasted some health flasks here. Interesting. I haven't found the area wherein I can uh, summon our uh, ally. It's totally fine. I'll go in. I'll go in. I'll, I'll one-man army this. One-man army! We've got two health flasks. We've got to be wary of his moves. Lovely. Yeah, we really need our stamina back. Nice jumping. Nice lunging. And wallop! Get some of that. And then hit him again. Oh, I was hoping we could get the... Uh, the old visceral! Oh, we're beating him up this time, guys. There we go. There we freaking go. That's how you uh, slay a boss. Second attempt. Not too shabby. And we come out of that with a Flame Drake Talisman as well, which is... Which is nice. Let's see what that does. Uh, boost fire damage negation. Now, currently, we don't have any other talismans, so we'll just whack that on for now, which is totally fine. And I just realized we didn't grab our uh, our runes, but it could have been bad, huh? Nah, confidence was key, guys. Confidence was key. Never in doubt. Okay, this will teleport us back to the beginning of the cave. Let's just make sure. Nothing else we're missing. Alright, solid! First cave, one and done. I think we'll do some resting. I think as far as a first episode goes, I think maybe that's a good place to, to end it and then uh, come back in afresh tomorrow. And we'll call it there, guys. Guys! Thank you so much for hanging out with us on our first episode of our Let's Play. We're going to call it there for today, but I'm hoping I'm hoping to uh, be able to get enough time to make more of these, you know, almost daily, if not every other day, uploads for you guys, if I can get my editing done and my thumbnails done in time, plus the streams. Uh, so very, very exciting stuff. Uh, and if you want to see more of these, guys, don't forget to drop a like, tell your friends. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, drop a little subscribe as well because it super helps me out, especially for a small channel like mine. It's really, really helping me out and obviously it lets me know that you guys want to see more of it too, which is, uh, I hope that you do, which is very, very exciting. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, guys, I will see you all in the next one.